December, it's cold, so it's time for comfort reads. My idea of a comfort read is more or less to reread an old favourite, and this isn't something that I've done for a very long time, but it's something that I've been wanting to do more and more recently. And rereading is something that I, I always mean to do, but there are just so many books that I want to read that I haven't read yet and it somehow seems like a waste or it has seemed like a waste in the past to reread things that I've already read. The thing is, quite to the contrary, it's really not a waste of time. It is a wonderfully good use of time and I like to justify it because I listen to audiobooks and I speed up the narration. So I figure that if I, if I speed it up to three times the speed then I can listen to it three times for the amount of time that it would have taken me to listen to it at normal speed, which is the case with The Name of the Wind, which I have now listened to three times at three times speed. But I'm gonna listen to it again. I'm gonna overstep the three times and I'm going to listen to it again with a different narrator because there is a British version and he has an English accent, but he also does all the other accents in different English, Scottish, Welsh, Irish accents. I think that's worthy of a reread. If you're interested, that is the version narrated by Rupert Degas, and I've listened to some other things that he's narrated, and he's brilliant. Speaking of fabulous narration, I have recently been listening to the Harry Potter books narrated by Stephen Fry. <sighs> it just warms my heart so much. It's like having a cosy comfort blanket around you. It has been way, way too long since I read the Harry Potter books last, and oh, I'm just, I'm so enjoying all the things that I'd kind of forgotten or half forgotten and being reminded of how truly magical the world of the books is. I recently re-watched all of the films as well and it's quite interesting to have re-watched the films and then re-read the books and realise that there is just a mind-blowing amount missing from the films. It also makes me think that if you watch the films and haven't read the books, you might be quite confused at times. Especially when, like, in number four, I think they have one class in the entire year. And it is a school, after all. After finishing each book, I have been re-listening to the Witch Please podcast, which pertains to that book and the film. And I cannot believe that I haven't actually mentioned Witch Please on this channel yet, because it is one of the greatest things that has happened in this entire year. It is one of the greatest things on the internet. It is just... <sighs> it's a podcast. Okay, and it is about the Harry Potter world, and it is two lady scholars talking about these books and films from a sort of feminist, intersectional perspective, and oh, it fills my heart with joy almost as much as the books themselves. If you are a Harry Potter fan and you haven't listened to Witch Please, go and do it now. Stop watching, go and download Witch Please. It's Witch, comma, Please, and Witch as in witches with hats and broomsticks. It's available on iTunes, follow them on Twitter, just do it, it's marvellous. <laughs> so there we are, that was my little Harry Potter rant. I have a number of books that I would also like to reread before too long, uh, one of which is another one of my favourites, Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. I've been meaning to reread this for ages as well. Likewise with The Luminaries by Elena Catton, but I think I will listen to the audiobook of this because it's really, really long and it took me about three months to get through it the first time, so I'd like to speed up that process a little. Finally, I have an announcement, which is very exciting, but I'm a bit behind the times because Jen announced this ages ago, but it is that Jen and I, Jen from Jen Campbell, and myself are going to be hosting a read-along, buddy read, read-along, it's a read-along, um, of Northern Lights, the first book of his Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman. We will also be reading the second and third books. At the end of the month, or at the beginning of January, we will be filming a discussion on this book, talking about various elements, um, going into more depth than we did in our previous videos about the trilogy. So if you want to join us, grab your copies. I believe that Northern Lights is free on UK Audible at the moment, so do go and check that out if you don't have a copy yet. You can also tweet at us with questions, comments, ideas, anything that you want us to talk about, or anything that just strikes you as you're reading it. 
and the hashtag will be across the bottom of the screen here. You can also tweet us the lovely different editions of these books that you have because we like to know, we like to know. This is one of my particular favourites. I managed to pick this up at a charity shop for a pound. Anyway, I would love to know your thoughts on rereading. Is it something that you do? Is it something that you want to do but never find that you have the time to do? Let's chat about it in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.